and welcome to Craft with Sarah. In today's video I'm going to show you how to decoupage on handmade cards. Decoupage is one of the most widely used card making techniques and it's really easy to do and it looks amazing. If you want to try decoupage head on over to my website craftwithsarah.com and click on the freebies link as I've got loads of free decoupage printables just like the ones you can see on the screen now that you can download and print at home. There are several different types of decoupage sheet you can get. The ones you commonly find in craft stores are die cut decoupage and these are ones where not only have they been pre-printed for you but they've often got nice foil effects on them to make them shiny and best of all they are die cut which means you can just pop the pieces out of the sheet and you don't have to cut them. So if I just show you on this one you can just pop them out all the different ones and it makes it really quick and easy to make your decoupage cards especially if you don't really enjoy cutting things out or if you're in a hurry or um, maybe you find it difficult to cut things this one you just pop them all out of your main sheet and then you can start making them really quickly another type um, that you can buy are printable decoupage sheets and that's what I've got here so this one I bought as a digital download and then it was printed um, onto some photo paper so that I can cut it out. The best website I found for buying step-by-steps or decoupage sheets is craftsyprint.com. They have literally over a million different products to choose from. So whatever you think of, you'll be able to find something there. And one of the really nice things about Craftsy Print is that if you don't have a printer at home or if maybe your printer's not that great, you can pay a little bit extra on your downloads and they'll print it out for you. So that's what I did on these ones. So I paid for them on Craftsy Print. I paid an extra little bit of money for them to print it out and post it to me. And I still got a digital copy of the file as well. So if I wanted to print it out in the future, I could. As well as there being different types of decoupage sheet like die cut or ones that you print. There's different types of decoupage topper. So this one here of the teacher, you can see you've got your main picture, which is just the teacher. Um, and then you'd cut that out, you'd build up your layers and then you'd stick it on your card front. So this design is just the topper. Other types of design you can get are ones that include a whole card front like this one. So I've got my layers on the left, which will build up the 3D, but then I'll stick them onto this teddy bear here, and that will form the whole base of my card. So I need very little other embellishments to make this into a beautiful card because you've already got the card front designed for you. You can even go one step further and get decoupage design kits. And these are several sheets that all come together to make the same card. So for this one, you see we've got our first sheet here, and this is by Janet Briggs, who is one of my favorite designers because she makes such pretty kits um, with lovely little images. On the first sheet, I've got my card front here, the square, and then I've got a whole host of sentiment toppers underneath for every kind of occasion. The second sheet is the decoupage layers, so I'd cut those out and then I'd stick them onto the card front. And then finally, on the third sheet, I've got an insert to go inside my card and then even more sentiment toppers. So this is really nice if you want a bit more of an involved project where everything you put on your card has been pre-made for you and is all going to match perfectly. The first thing to do once you've decided on your sheet you're going to make is to cut out all of the different parts. So I'm doing this teddy bear one to start with and I've already cut out the different things from the sheet. If I bring the sheet back in you can see this is what it looked like originally and then here are my bits all cut out. Now I've already stuck the card front onto an 8 by 8 inch white card so it opens up like this and then I cut um, two different types of backing paper just to give it a little bit more interest um, and to fill up some of the space around the edge. So the yellow paper is from Papermania. I bought this when I first started card making about 15 years ago. I don't think they make it anymore. But the brown one is from a paper pack I bought recently. 
The paper pack is Lost Forest by Paper Addicts, which um, I've got in 12 by 12 inch size. And if I just quickly flick through, you can see you've got such beautiful papers in here, all with a lovely um, forest theme in really pretty colours. So that's where um, this outer border paper came from. Okay, so now I've got all the bits cut out. I've got my card front on my card already. With card fronts, I find it easier to stick them onto your base card before you start adding the layers. Otherwise, it can get a little bit tricky when you've already done the 3D part. All right, so what do we need to make our decoupage? Well, first, we need something to make it 3D. I like 3D foam pads. Um, you can buy these in all different shapes and sizes. These ones I've got are actually really big. If I peel one off, you can see they're absolutely massive. Um, normally I get really small ones, but they didn't have any, so these would do. But what I'll have to do is cut them smaller to make the card. So with foam pads, you can just get a pair of scissors and cut them to whatever size you need. Alternatively, you can use foam on a roll. So it's the same material, it's just instead of coming on sheets, it's all in a roll that you can um, unwind. You might also notice I've got these little tiny scissors on the on the table. These are decoupage scissors. Um, and if you're going to be doing a lot of decoupage, especially fiddly things, highly recommend getting a pair of these because they're really small and they get into all those little nooks and crannies really easily. If you're interested in any of the products I've mentioned, you can check out the links to buy them in the description below the video. I'm going to put the card front to one side for a minute and bring in the largest of the teddy bear layers. So this is the one where you've got the most of the picture showing. This will be my um, one which I'm going to stick onto the card first. So I'm going to turn it upside down, get my foam pads, and then I'm just going to cut them a little bit smaller because these ones are huge. And then just peel them off and just stick some to the bottom of your layer. You don't need to go mad and cover the whole thing, but you want enough so that one, it'll stick properly, and two, if you've got a big piece that you're sticking on, it's not gonna sag in the middle. So you do need to put a little bit of stick into the middle of the designs as well to stop that happening. I'm just peeling the backings off the different bits of foam pad to make them sticky. So um, I'm going to bring my card front back in, turn this back over, and then line it up and stick it exactly on top of the card front design. And if you just place it on gently to start with, that means you can kind of wiggle it about if you've got it a little bit wrong. But when you're happy, just push it down nice and firmly. And there is the first layer of our decoupage done. So we can move on to the next one. So take the next size of pattern, turn it over, and we're going to do exactly the same thing again. I'm going to cut these even smaller. This teddy bear is quite a good decoupage sheet for um, beginners to try with because it's fairly easy to cut out and um, the little pieces are all nice and large so you can fit all your foam pads on easily. With some of them you get really tiny little cut out pieces which can be a little bit difficult. Alright, so now I've got this one. I'm going to do the same thing again. Line it up with the pattern underneath. Gently place it on until I'm happy and then push it down. So um, we're just going to keep doing the same thing for the rest of these layers. So that's our teddy bear done. I've just got one last thing to do, which is to add this sentiment to the front. I'm going to do the same thing again. So build it up with my foam pads. I'm going to put one on each side. And 
and then line it up with the box on the card front. There we go. And there we have it, our finished decoupage card. If I turn it round, hopefully you can see the layers building up to make that lovely 3D effect. So this is a really pretty card and it didn't take us very long to make at all because we already had the lovely card design. If you want to buy this design or any of the other ones I featured, I've put the links below the video. All right, so that was how we decoupage. Sometimes with decoupage, you end up with really little tiny pieces like these ones I've got on the left. If that's the case and your foam pads are too big, you just need to cut them smaller so that they'll fit. So for these tiny pieces, like the hand and her shoes, I'm gonna need to cut my foam pads very small. Oops, I just kind of flung that <laughs> all over the place. Foam pads are really easy to cut with a pair of scissors. You can cut them as small as you need them to go. And then turn over your pieces and just stick these tiny bits on. It is a little bit fiddly, especially if the pieces are really, really diddy like these ones. Um, but it's the only way to keep that 3D effect on them. Um, and you want to make sure you use the same foam pads throughout the whole of your um, card that you're making because if you start with different ones they might be different heights so your layers will be different heights which will look a little bit strange. You might find it easier for the smaller pieces to put the foam pads onto the big layer rather than the one you're about to stick on. So for these shoes um, I think it would be really fiddly to try and put the foam pads on these little cutouts. So instead I'm going to put them directly onto the card topper. Peel them off, very tricky. <laughs> and then I'm going to stick the shoes on top. And I've stuck my nail to the other one, so I probably should have done one at a time. There we go. So that's just a little trick for um, working with really tiny little pieces of decoupage.